Minor opposition candidate Shim sang jung from the Justice Party campaigned in Taejeon and Chungcheongnam, the province, promising green innovation in the region. People's Party nominee An Chol Su went to his hometown of Busan and promised balanced regional development. Kim Yeon-sung zooms in on their activities. Green City versus Tech City. Minor opposition party candidates Shim sang jung and An Chol Su moved forward with their campaign trails on Tuesday, promising two different futures for two different regions. Justice Party candidate Shin sang jung went to Daejeon City and Chungcheongnam-do province and promised to turn these regions into a green energy hub. I will upgrade Daejeon Inopolis into a green innovation research complex and turn Daejeon into a research hub to overcome the climate crisis. Shim also continued to appeal to workers for their votes. She visited Hyundai Steel and promised to improve pay, safety and welfare for temporary workers who are often overlooked. Almost every day, there are people who don't come home from work. They're trampled, fallen and burned to death while working. Meanwhile, presidential candidate An Chol Su from the People's Party took his campaign to South Korea's second largest city, Busan. Born and raised in Busan, candidate An on Tuesday highlighted his ties to the city. I am Busan through and through, and I have never once forgotten Busan, even when I was doing politics in Seoul. He pledged to secure at least five cutting-edge technologies for Korean firms and foster companies so they can become as strong as Samsung. Then he said he will strive for balanced regional development. I will give Busan, Ulsan and Gyeongsangnam the province enough authority and financial rights so that they can secure the global or domestic firms they want. Next, he will take his campaign trail to the port city of Ulsan and Gyeongsangnam the province on Wednesday. Kim Yansung, Arirang News.